We're back at 515. From suspending the debt ceiling in Washington to talking ponies in Dayton, here are the five things you need to know for this day ahead. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton heads to Capitol Hill in the day ahead. She will testify before both the House and Senate Foreign Affairs Committees. This is concerning the attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi, Libya last September that killed Ambassador Chris Stevens. Clinton was scheduled to testify in December but suffered a concussion and was later hospitalized with a blood clot. The House is expected to vote on a measure to suspend the debt ceiling through mid-May. This is different from past bills, which raised the amount the government could borrow. Republicans support this plan because there's no dollar figure attached to the legislation, and it has support from the White House. We'll have more coming up in the next half hour. Well, this morning, Dayton city leaders will discuss plans for a racino in the Miami Valley. The 119-acre development is planned for the former Delphi plant at Wagner Ford and Needmore. Now, they want to hear more input on the plans for the 150,000-square-foot gaming and harness racing facility presented by Penn National Gaming. The meeting starts at 8.30 this morning. We'll let you know what happens, of course. Looking for dinner plans? Maybe well, we have you covered. Tonight, you can wet your taste buds with a preview to Restaurant Week. This is video from last year's Restaurant Week. You can get, the t get a taste of what the, best, what the best of the Miami Valley restaurants have to offer all in one place. This runs from 5.30 to 8.30 at Watson's on East Whip Road in Centerville. Tickets are $30 at the door. There will also be a benefit for a Bellbrook teen who was killed last year in a car crash. 16-year-old Skylar Kukin and her two friends were killed in November in a crash on Wagner Road. Well, speaking of food, it is National Pie Day. According to the American Pie Council, there are at least 231 varieties just of apple pie, which is favored by 36 million people. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories. They're online there for you for at WDTN.com.